There's something special happening at the Oregon Fencing Alliance in Beaverton, and it involves 18-year-old Maga Scarbon Kavich. She is part of the Sabre team going to the Olympics in July. Fencing is in her blood. From the very beginning, I was sort of born into a fencing family. My dad almost made the Olympics in 1996, but it, um, he didn't have a citizenship in time, so he wasn't able to compete for Team USA because he originally came from Poland. Magda has been fencing since she was six, coached by her dad. When she was 13, he gave her a choice, compete nationally or go all in and try to make it to the biggest stage. So that's when I was like, okay, I'm going to take that route because you know, there's potential there, so I just wanted to see how far it could get me. And even though it's definitely more of a different childhood than other people, it was definitely worth it. We first caught up with Magda in 2021 after she won a Cadet World Championship in the individual Sabre event. She went on to become a two-time World Junior Champion, and in the fall of 2023, she won gold at the Pan American Games. That helped her qualify for the Olympics. It's been a lot of hard work to get to this point. It's still fun. There's definitely a lot more emotions and high stakes now. She's not the first fencer from the Oregon Fencing Alliance to excel on the world stage. Olympic gold medalist Marielle Zagunas trains here. She's featured on the champion's wall and is well known to Magda. I used to train with Marielle when I was 12, 13, before her last Olympics. Just a huge, huge inspiration, being able to not only connect the face with the name, but be able to see her in person, see the work ethic and what it takes to be a champion definitely drove me to try and be one also. The Olympics won't be the first time that she has represented the U.S. in international competition. She knows what it feels like to be on the medal podium and says it's special. I remember standing on the podium looking up at the flag and it's just I couldn't stop smiling because it's like, wow, I did it. My dad came here looking for you know, all his goals and dreams. He said he could accomplish anything here. It could be anything here. And I get to, you know, follow those footsteps.